Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to learn about generics, which is a TypeScript feature that is really useful when building React components. Now, similar to the other videos in the series, I have already set up some code to get us started. In the components folder, I've created a folder called generics. Within the folder, we have a file called list.tsx. The component is a simple component that accepts an array of items and handles a click event on each of those items. Let me walk you through the code. At the top, we have the props type. So list props, which contains items, which is an array of strings, and onClick handler, which receives the clicked item value as an argument. On the list component itself, we destructure items and on click from props. For the JSX, there is an h2 tag that says list of items and below the heading, we map over the items array, rendering the item in a div tag. On click of the div tag, we also call the on click prop passing in the item string. Might not be a practical list component, but for now, it serves the purpose. In amp.tsx, I have imported the list component and invoked it. Items array is an array of three strings and onClickProp is a simple function which logs the clicked item to the console. We have no TypeScript errors and everything is fine. However, the following day, we realize we need to render a list of numbers and handle the click on each number. So let me invoke the component again, but this time where items is an array of numbers. On click handler though remains the same. When we do this, TypeScript is going to complain. Type number is not assignable to type string. This is because we have mentioned items is an array of strings. Now one possible solution is to allow either a string or number as the type. So items is an array of strings or an array of numbers. On click, value can either be string or number. TypeScript is once again happy. But this is again specific to items being an array of strings or numbers only. What if tomorrow it is an array of objects? In this third example, you can see items is an array of objects where each object contains a first name and a last name. TypeScript will throw an error. So what we need is a way to tell TypeScript that the type of items and the onclick handler item can vary. And generics are the way to do that. In fact, we've looked at generics already in this series. When we specified a type to use state, or even in one of the previous videos where we specified to react.componentType, we made use of generics. Let's see how to add generic types for our list component. Step one, we add a generic type to the list props type. Now what is a generic type? Well, you can think of them as parameterized types. On line one, right after list props, we specify within angle brackets, T. Now T is sort of a convention and stands for type, but you are welcome to use any label you want to use. I will stick to T. Once we mention that list props accepts a variable called T, we assign the same to items. So it is an array of type T and to the onclick prop as well. So value is of type T. 
When we do that, we get an error on line 5 for list props. This is because we need to specify the generic type as mentioned on line 1. So list props, angle brackets, T. But then what exactly is T? TypeScript does not know that. To fix this, we need to specify what T can be before the parentheses. So angle brackets again and we specify T. But this T needs to extend a base type. We are going to specify an empty object as that covers everything. So T extends an empty object. Or in other words, the least restriction when passing in props. And when we do that, you can see the error in app.tsx is gone. We can now pass in an array of any type and list component will not throw an error. Of course, we are stretching ourselves a bit because item as object would not be the best to specify as a value to render in a div tag. For now, I want you to understand how generics work and hopefully this contrived example helped you with that. If you want to add restrictions to what the generic type can be, you can focus on this constraint we have specified. If you want only an array of numbers or strings, we specify t extends string or number. TypeScript will flag an error when you try to pass in an object. Another useful constraint is mentioning that each object must contain an ID property. So let me comment out the first two lists. And back in list.tsx, as constraint, I'm going to specify t extends an object which contains a property called id of type number. This restriction will ensure we can safely pass item.id to the key prop on the list item. So key is equal to item.id. Of course, the item object in addition to id can contain any other property. So in app.tsx, we see an error since id is missing. All we have to do is add id set to 1, id set to 2, and id set to 3. And now TypeScript is happy. As you can see, generics is really powerful and is something you're going to come across when working with React and TypeScript. It helps you avoid code duplication when you need multiple types to be handled, but at the same time provide strict type checking. Alright, thank you all for watching. If you're finding the videos helpful, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.